I'm here at this dairy cattle operation in Colombia, and because of the free trade agreement that was struck with the United States, it presents a huge opportunity for U.S. soybean producers. That's because the livestock industry is expanding to meet the increased demand for protein. They have all the potential to grow more because we have the area. However, their grass is low in nutrients, so they supplement with U.S. soybean meal. We use soy to complement, complement that uh, low protein on the forage. Colombia imports 90 percent of their beans, 60 to 70 percent from the U.S. Last year we did 91 million dollars worth of soybean, just a grain. U.S. meal sales were another 70 million dollars and the market will grow with the free trade agreement. We can capture 90 percent of this market. I mean we can grow to about 100 and 20, 130 million. That's important to Minnesota farmers who export 50 percent of their soybeans. This Heartland Consumer Report is brought to you by Minnesota Soybean Farmers in their Soybean Checkoff.